First of all, Jesse, from Desperate Housewives to Dallas, you're surrounded by beautiful women. You're one lucky man. Can it get any better? Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I have been pretty lucky in that regard in my career. But, you know, I mean, on a more serious note, this is like a really great turn for me, you know, from a... You know, it's kind of boyish, fluffy role on, on Housewives, which had quite a bit of comedy in it, to a, a, a more substantial, mature role. I mean, this is the first time I've really gotten to sink my teeth into, you know, an adult, complex character on television. So, How familiar were you with the show beforehand? Did you watch the repeats back? I wasn't that familiar. I was born in 78, the year the show premiered. So I certainly had to go back and watch some episodes, you know, and find out exactly how dysfunctional this family really was. How about yourself? Same, same. Um, I was, uh, you know, I was, I was born in, in '81, so I, I, to me, it's like something that I, 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 I've always known about it. But some, some, for some weird reason, I had the theme song in my subconscious. But I, I didn't, I didn't know much about the, 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 the dynamic of this, of this family. So I, I once I got the part, I, I went in and, and just revisited a lot of the episodes, and it's fun to watch. Did you feel that there was pressure on you coming into such a major show that's loved worldwide? Yeah, there was yeah. a bit of pressure. I mean, there, there was a lot of emotions going on, definitely. Yeah. But I, I think the only way to combat that kind of pressure is just to be incredibly prepared. Yeah, you put know? some and good I, work out there. I think we wanted to, to prove ourselves, you know, to the original cast members, you know, to Larry, Linda, and Patrick. We wanted to prove that we were value added to the show. We wanted to gain their respect. And, I, you know, I think we did that. I think they put together a really, a really fine en ensemble cast, and I think the success the show's had... Um, in America has proven that. Rebecca is, of course, the beautiful fiancé of Christopher. How did the two get together? Tell us a little bit about um, their relationship. Well, when you first meet them, she's coming into the Ewing family to South Fork uh, to, to prepare for their wedding. And uh, the backstory is they met a couple years back in, uh, in Japan as they were both traveling on, on their own. And, and, uh, and yeah, that's how, that's how they fell in love, and he brings her back home. What can we expect from their relationship? <laughs> you can a lot, expect of, a lot of twists and turns. Definitely. A lot, yeah, we, you know, it's a it's bit of a roller coaster ride. Absolutely, it's and and because everyone isn't who they seem to be, and 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 I think that when it comes to to us, it's 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 an up and down all the time. <laughs> I mean, marriage is never easy. Yeah, but this one really is Especially in the easy. Ewings. <laughs> <laughs> what is the relationship between Christopher and his father Bobby like now? They have a great relationship. You know, um, I think that Christopher tries to emulate his father you know he really looks up to him but at the same time I think there's a bit of a you know he feels a bit of a, a burden you know being in, in the in the shadow of the great Bobby Ewing you know and, and that's that's really what's at the at the core of Christopher is that being that he's adopted and he's not a blood Ewing he really strives to, to prove himself you know as a man and as a Ewing and um, you know he, obviously he wants to move the the family business away from drilling for oil and to you know, more alternative means of, eco-friendly alternative means of energy, you know, and that's definitely a bone of contention in the, uh, in the first season. And is Rebecca going to be a very strong woman in the household of South Fork? Or? I think so. I think all the women on, on the show, and uh, this version of the show, are very, very strong and very smart, and they do stand up, and they're very ambitious, and, and I, I, I think that you can expect a lot from Rebecca. And very quickly, what attracted you to this role? Wow. Um, you know, I, I got to say, honestly, I mean, initially I was, I was skeptical of the project, really, as a whole. And I, and I, and I think that, you know, the, 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 there, there was a similar feeling that kind of running through Hollywood when the idea came, came up that they were going to they were going to bring back Dallas again as a television series. Um, you know, I, I think people saw it as a very quintessentially 80s show, you know, but my, my fears were, were quickly were quickly soothed, you know, when I read that pilot episode. I just thought it was an amazing piece of material. And I think, I think it, was, it was that. It was that pilot episode. I think every great TV show, every great film starts with a great piece of material. Yeah, absolutely. For me, it was a sense of mystery that Rebecca brought to the, the, to the original uh, pilot. I, to the pilot. Um, there was something about her that I just uh, I didn't know, and I was just very curious to find out, and I'm glad I did. <laughs>